Hello Peter Bays, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, you may have guessed it by the title and by how I look. I am doing my princess challenge and I chose to be Pocahontas. Pocahontas? Pocahontas. If you notice, I've started without my eyebrows and that is because since we are doing Pocahontas, it's a little bit different. So I'm going in with my brow by Rayma and this is a True Glam Brow Makeover Kit and this is in the shade Dark. Grabbing a angled brush. So I'm gonna grab the light shade. Her eyebrows are thick and then it goes thin. So we're gonna try to remake that with these big eyebrows. I'm gonna start like regular. I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna take this a little lower. In the picture I'm mimicking, her eyebrows are like in an angle and then it's thick. Whew. We're trying. I'm going in with a shade that is almost like my skin color to clean my eyebrows. I'm going with my e.l.f. 6 Hour Camel Concealer in the shade a Medium Beige. And I'm gonna grab my Olimar Flat Brush. I know it's a little hard to do it with a flat brush. I should've grabbed another one. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. I feel so weird with these eyebrows. Hopefully, hopefully it makes my look how I want it to look. So let's keep on rolling. I'm gonna cover my dark circles with my LA Pro Conceal in orange. Since I'm not really wearing eyeshadow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my face first. And then I'm moving on to eyeliner. So I'm doing a challenge with my friends. I picked Pocahontas because I remember when I was at work six years ago, I used to do these braids in the, top, in the front of my hair. And there was this lady who always used to call me Pocahontas. Oh. For foundation today, I'm going a little darker and I'm going with the CoverGirl Ageless Foundation in the shade 241. So then I'm going a little bit different, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my face with cream contour just to give my face that darker shade that I want. So for my face contour, today I'm going with my e.l.f. cream contour palette. And I'm grabbing my Luxie 510 brush. I'm actually going to grab a mixture of these two shades right here. She has very strong chin so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna contour my face instead of down here i'm gonna start from here and then like angle myself to make this look you'll see so i'm gonna start from here if you haven't already please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notified when i post a video By the way, you guys, how do you like my background? I just got my background. I'm so excited to try this. I already know this is gonna look way better. I'm trying my best to make higher quality videos for you guys. And just by adding that black background, which by the way, it comes with two sides. I will try to leave the description box below. I got this from my Amazon. Let the blending begin. Grabbing a sponge. To blend this you're going kind of like the same way it's going instead of going straight because that will make the blending not how you wanted it so i'm going a little high here and i'm going in and i'm swerving not swerving but 
and going in a little angle, just like it's going, if you notice. All right, moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with the same shade that I use to clean my eyebrows, so the shade Medium Beige. my airspun translucent powder i'm gonna use one shadow for my eyes i'm gonna grab my tarte bu naturally palette and i'm gonna grab the shade daybreak i'm gonna grab my luxie 131 brush i'm gonna grab some of that shade and i'm going in right at this point you're gonna blend that good and dragging the rest of it to the this side of the eye so you're out of corner Repeating the same step, just placing that product right in the front of your crease. Like, this is your whole crease. So, you're gonna blend that downwards, and the rest of it, you're gonna go ahead and blend it all the way to your outer corner, but just your crease. All of my black eyeliners are liquid. So I don't have any gel. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab an angle brush and my Violet Boss palette in the shade black, right here. I'm gonna wet my brush, okay? I'm gonna wet my brush with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And I'm gonna grab some of the black shade. Again, just be very careful. If you put some of this in your eyes, it's gonna bother you. Place it on your waterline but be very careful and gentle how you place this so you don't bring this inside your eye. I'm wearing a shirt, you guys, <laughs> I promise. I'm not naked. Um, I'm wearing this shirt because I will be drawing the necklace of Pocahontas on me. That's in a little bit. I'm going with my Heck and Harry eyeliner. And I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Big Eagle Mascara. I am not wearing mascara in the bottom lash because I want my eyes to look as chinky as possible. I usually don't bronze, but today I am going with my bronzing powder from MAC. Refined Gold, I believe it's a shade. And I'm going to grab my Alomar Complexion Brush. But I'm going to try to make myself warm, like very warm. I'm gonna bronze this part right here as well. What I will attempt to do is make my lips smaller. So I'm grabbing the Alomar flat brush and I'm going with the shade medium beige. And I'm gonna try to hide just these parts of my mouth. Let's see what happens. this point I'm gonna grab some of that bronzer again and I'm gonna place that right under my lips so I'm going in with my ultimate favorite this is from Avon in the shade T520 and this is the color the first time I tried this I was like this is amazing it's so creamy it's so perfect you can overline your lips and you cannot tell that you overline your lips that's how good the texture is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a droopy, a droopy top lip and a fat bottom lip. So let's see how this looks. Oh god. Okay. Going with my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray for her necklace. I'm grabbing acrylic paint. I've never painted my body or my face with acrylic paint, um, but it's the only thing I have to make this necklace, so let's do it. I'm gonna mix blue with white to make the nice 
light blue color that her necklace is. Maybe mix a little bit of the uh, Laguna shade. It's like a turquoise. So I'm mixing it in the plate. And I'm grabbing a paintbrush. I'm gonna grab one of these just to mix the color around. I'm going over it with my Party Animal palette from Laura Lee and I'm grabbing the shade Damage Control. Guys, I had so much fun creating this look. I actually love the end results. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. And if you loved it, please don't forget to hit the red button down below. See you next time.